So this is the PVC antenna that I put together for quick use. It's just a little 15 footer and it'd be good for in the field. What I'll do is I'll have my son come and shake it just so you guys can see how it holds together. And I've only got one set of stain wires going through the top. Go ahead and shake it, buddy, from the bottom. Shake it a lot. Keep going. Let go. And you can see that these couplers I printed on my printer um, hold up really well. I mean, they're just PLA printers and a... Uh, Essentially, if you were to tie it off all the way up, instead of just me doing the top one, it'd be a very stable platform for putting up an inverted V in your backyard or out in the field where you don't have a tree, especially if you're doing a field day. The PVC is simply three quarter inch PVC with an outer diameter of an inch. So really anything you have that's an outer diameter of an inch that you'd want to use as a shaft would work for this. And I'll have my son give it one more shake. Go ahead, shake it again from the bottom. Okay, stop. Uh, as you can see, it holds in just fine. And it's just staked in, to be perfectly honest with you, with a little 12-inch stake. Nothing serious. That's it in a nutshell. So this is the coupler that I designed and used with the PVC field expedient antenna. As you can see, it's Pretty straightforward. You can see it has the braces, eight holes that a carabiner can go through, a little one inch carabiner can go through that. This hole will take anything that has a one inch diameter. Same for this side. Down the bottom here, you can see I have a stop built into it that keeps the two separated, which also means that this can set on top of a pole and then create downward pressure by applying stabilizers. You saw in the earlier video that my son shook the part or shook the antenna as much as he could and it didn't break. All in all, this is very good for a field expedient antenna. Have no complaints about the part whatsoever.